This is Don Crickey with Mike Jeminski and Jim Spinarco from Indianapolis, Indiana. We're in the wooden tradition. The Purdue Boilermakers led from the outset and won going away an 18-point victory over Davidson. Terrific defense and three-point shooting by Purdue. The difference is in this game. And I think Purdue, their team that was ready to play right at the start of this game, got off offensively dictated everything on both ends of the floor, Jimmy. That 21-point deficit, too much to overcome. Absolutely, and we talked about their start. We talked about their defensive effort. They also had four guys in double figures, so they had great offensive balance at the scoring end, plus two guys with eight points. So everybody contributed for Matt Painter's team this afternoon. Well, it's been a great season up till now for Davidson and Stephen Curry. He had a long day today against this Purdue defense. Uh, what do they do to get back on track? Well, they've got some time off now for the holidays, uh, time to regroup, get some guys healthy, and then they start Southern Conference play at another game with uh, College of Charleston coming up, a, a stiff test for them. Yeah. But they only have two non-conference games left. It's a, you know, and, and you have to look at it as, as a learning experience. It's a bump in the road, and you have to move on and get ready. So, obviously, the conference schedule is right around the corner, as you touched on. It's a lot of fun left in the NCAA basketball season. So, you know, you just pull back. You say, hey, we learned some things. And, obviously, they're going to look at this tape and say, what went wrong in the first five minutes of this game? Well, and it was a very good Purdue team that right. went wrong for them. And, yeah. I, and I think they are going to be a factor in the Big Ten right. race this year. Uh, they've got great defense. You touched on yeah. it. Good balance. A lot of role players, and then a guy who does everything in Hummel. And Purdue's three-point shooting, 11 of 16, 61%. So that's the story from Indianapolis, where Purdue wins going away. Now for Jim Spinocklin, Mike Jeminski, I'm Don Crickey for CBSSports.com.